Hello everyone, this is Mumbo, and welcome to Redstone vs. Building with Grian. Hello, it's about time, it's happening. Yeah, it's finally happening. We have had this video planned for months now, and we finally got everything together. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at 10 Minecraft categories, and we're going to have a fun and friendly competition. I repeat, fun and friendly. Down in the comment section, I can see the war zone already beginning. It's yeah, no fun cannons, and friendly. <laughs> no shots fired. No. It's just, it's just friendly. Friendly competition. Yes, exactly. And we're going to be comparing how we approach each different thing with building and redstone. So obviously I'm going to be doing the redstone stuff and Green is going to be covering all of the building things. Now in my video, we're going to be covering five of them and Green will also have his video where he's going to be covering the other five. So you can mm -hmm. check them out on each channel there. And just remember, we want to re-clarify this. This is all <laughs> fun and games. This is all fun and games before all of you get all militant down in the comment section. We are friends. Look, we can we can stand really close to one another. See, look, that you wouldn't see enemies doing that sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> but remember, I'm definitely going to win. Okay, right, let's get started. So the first one is going to be traps. Now, this is interesting. I mean, yours looks really, really cool, if you're asking me. What do you mean? No, it doesn't look really cool. I intentionally made a terrible looking hut because the type of trap that I've made is a building trick and not a redstone trick. Right, well, and I mean, I think it looks really cool. A, I just, I love jungle biomes. Jungle biomes for me are like one of the coolest biomes, but also, this still looks cooler than a lot of my builds before this you start tiny. saying things like it's that. It's really, really difficult in Minecraft to build at a minuscule scale. So yeah. this is about as small as you can physically get inside yeah. a house. Like three by three is about the bare minimum. So what I've made here is an intentionally uh, like start a house looking house. Right. It is meant to look like someone has had their first night here. Yeah. And... It's basically meant to tempt you inside, and I'll let you I'll let you explore it and experience the trap for yourself, okay. and I'll explain how it works. So we've got an anvil, we've got some torches. The only other thing that we've got is a chest, which, from my years of playing Minecraft, seems a bit dubious to me. But I'm going to open it, and yes, that was to be <laughs> <laughs> expected. Goodbye. <laughs> so did you use? How did you do that? Did you use right. torches under the sand, or was no, it? No, no torches. This is a this is a very I think unknown trick in Minecraft, Ooh. actually. Okay. Um, I, I think I've actually shown this on, on my channel before, but I still don't see people using it. Now, I have actually used a little bit of redstone just to update the blocks. That's totally fine. So the idea is to create some floating sand or gravel. Yep. Now, you know for a fact that when you're like exploring around in the world, you see sand and you just have to punch it, right? You just yep. have to punch it. So what we can do is a little trick where... You put two block of two too high plant. Yep. And if you remove the bottom half and not the top, it leaves the sand floating. You know what's hilarious? I totally thought that had been removed. Like I was a hundred percent certain that that was gone. Because do you want do you want to see something interesting here? I'm sure you already know about this one. But for those of you who are watching, if you get string, okay, so. If we if we quickly, I mean, we're gonna have to do, but string. So if you play string on top of a block, can you actually see that string? Not really. Uh, You'd have to really be looking no. for it. But that string, when you walk over it, actually causes updates. So you could have string on top of that sand there, and when you walk over it, it would drop. I mean, obviously, Genius. when you place it, it's going to fall. <laughs> That's why so I didn't do if it. I place if I place this underneath, we're we're making. Yeah, this is making, this is uh, cutting edge right here. This is cutting edge Minecraft right here. Yeah, look so. so if I do that, and you walk over, oh, genius. So you don't even need the, the trap chest. You could just walk in and a tripwire would cause it all to yeah. go. But I mean, I did not realize, also... I didn't realize that was still in the game. I thought that had been removed ages ago. So you've actually taught me something new there. That's very impressive. So yeah, that is that is the building technique. No redstone needed, just need uh, some tall tall grass or rosebush or whatever. I, do you know what? It could have been removed, but we are in an old, slightly older version, but I don't think it has. <laughs> no, I don't think it has. I think, I seem to think, I, I think it was removed, well, I thought it was removed probably like a year or two ago. So you've, you've caught me by surprise here. Now I'm actually using a kind of semi-similar technique to what you're doing. I'm actually using uh, updates to activate the trap. Now, just okay. before you start, I'm just gonna go down to the bottom and activate this thing that is the biggest lag causer on the server. And oh if goodness. you wouldn't oh mind goodness. 
just roaming around on this area of stone. Now, you can probably tell, <laughs> you can probably tell the block that I kind of want you to stand on, but I'll let you uh, do the honours and, and walk so, around as if Do you as want me you to mark Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I didn't expect it just to go from standing on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that absolutely. That was so fast as well. There was no reaction time there. As <laughs> soon as I was on it, I was down. And I'm going through hell right now. Yeah, it is. You don't, you don't quite understand. Well, you do understand because you made this, but this is hell. There is no escape for me. I can't, I can't is, even make my way in. <laughs> this is the most in your face, <laughs> haha, I got you trap in the world. If, if you want me to quickly explain how it works, so you see this this redstone dust is doing that that thing there where it's it's got the particles around it and it's, it's yeah, kind of shiny. Yeah, I, I know that when you like touch it, it, it sort of makes it go off and it actually produces a little bit of light as well. Yeah, so that is actually a block update and what we're doing is we're detecting that using the piston underneath and then it activates a trap door which opens up and you just drop straight through. Well, I'm, I'm, I've got to admit, I'm going to concede that point to you because the, I really felt ashamed of myself when I fell in there, even though I knew it was coming. <laughs> I knew that there was a trap. And I still felt embarrassed. <laughs> All right, fantastic. I will I will take the point. So that is one point to me and zero to you at this point in time. But I can't help but think. <laughs> just, just I, I, I saw this thing out of my peripheral vision as we were doing the traps. This <laughs> is the entrance category, okay? So entrances are a big part of Minecraft, especially to your base. Whether you are a redstone or a builder, an entrance is your first impression of what you've made. And what I have here is the Arch Degrean. Yeah. I mean, this is... When I was building mine, I thought it was big. I was like, this is a, a huge redstone build. You know, it's massive. It could fit inside one of the legs of this thing, Grian. Like, it <laughs> genuinely could. Probably this fit. This is, uh, in the building world, this is what we call a mega build. It yeah. means that the scale of it has been toned up, like, times ten, essentially. And we could make an arch smaller, but the smaller you build in Minecraft, the harder it is to pinpoint the shape. So what people tend to do is build in this mega build style where you can get really flush shapes and lots yeah. of arches and lots of these like overhangs. You see here, we've yeah. actually got four, wait, one, two, three, four, five blocks worth of depth of it sticking out. Now, if you did that at a smaller scale, your building would look completely top heavy. Yeah. So this, this build is more about scale than it is the way it looks, believe well, it or not. I mean, it looks amazing. And it's definitely got the scale to back it up as well. This is And it's got little green faces on it. I had noticed those. Those are those are those are well you say little, but look, you're standing next to it. It's about seven times the size of you as a as a person. It's about as small as you can make a, a head in Minecraft. So. Right, okay. But yeah, it is the arch degree, and I, I am very proud of this one. It's definitely the biggest one out of the whole ten categories. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've I've tried my best. I have also done the biggest thing that I could possibly build. But unfortunately, uh, I straight away I can I've been outscaled by you. But that being said, the redstone to build big doors gets exponentially harder the bigger you go because obviously when you start getting blocks that are left in the middle here, a yeah. you have to move these blocks out the way and move this block out of the way as well. But also just extending the pistons down to pick up these blocks. Like you're having to power a piston that is here. Now that is difficult. Because you A, you have to get the piston to there, and B, you actually have to power it. And to do that, we're doing moving observers and everything like that. So if we hit the button, you can see the closing. The closing's actually... Oh, no, oh, you, my... oh you left a block in there! <laughs> Amazingly... It, but I it, couldn't save it. <laughs> Amazingly, it didn't actually break too much. So there we go. It's also a robust... <laughs> it's a robust door. That was... That could have gone horribly wrong. But also, if we hit this button here, this is where the magic happens. Because if you just watch... What has to happen? Oh my goodness! It's, and is uh, that is is that about as big as it goes? Is there like if you had to do one more, surely it would be almost impossible to power a piston in the middle of this? Gap. No, people people do it. Like, there are I'm not talented enough, but you get some some crazy people in the Minecraft Redstone community. I don't actually know what the record is at this current point in time. I remember someone built a 30 by 12 piston door. That was uh, that was a couple years ago, so it must have gotten bigger since then. At what but, point is it overkill? That's what I want to know. At what point is it overkill? <laughs> to be honest, at this point, it is kind of overkill. Like, can you imagine building this? A, it's a bit pointless to build a door like this because 
to make this look good would almost be impossible because what you have to remember is is that the door in an actual build yeah you'd have to hide it in a gigantic cube <laughs> yeah it's going to be it's going to be set back this far <laughs> so your your entrance is going to be all the way out here but the actual door itself is going to be right the way back here which yeah, isn't particularly very yeah there's very limited very designs that will work with that problem in mind yeah yeah but Nonetheless, it's still impressive from a technical aspect because the amount of redstone and observer blocks and pistons that are involved in this are crazy. Well, I, th I thank you very much, but you win. <laughs> like, there's, there's no way that I am standing next to this gigantic bear moth of a, red st of a, a build and not letting you win this one. So you, you've definitely won with the with the arch degree. In. <laughs> yours is really technically, I, I know what you mean, because yours is really technically sound and it's awesome. But when you like step back and just compare them, you're like, eh. Yeah, I think, I think, <laughs> I think it's quite obvious who the winner is on this one. <laughs> All right, we've got one point apiece then. The storage was a bit of a, a difficult one to tackle as a builder because, you know, those of us that use creative don't typically need storage. Of At course, all. that's very true. I kind of hadn't thought of that actually. I'm used to building loads of storage systems, whereas I'm guessing, yeah, creative builders is all is all just inside you, which is a yeah, horrible thought. Yeah, it's all about the look of it, <laughs> and that sort of. So I basically had to come up with something a little bit more just creative. So we just sort of did a storage section with chests inside a giant chest, and Please it's kind tell of similar me. to yours with just uh, chests everywhere. <laughs> See, now I'm deducting points here a little bit. Because if all of these chests were filled with more chests, that would have been great. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I regret. You've oh, missed no. out. You've missed out on that. You've I've missed, missed out, out on, that. on that. Oh no. <laughs> A chest full of chests full of chests. Yeah. That would have been perfect. I could have even done shulker boxes full of chests. Oh yeah, you could have gone you could have gone right the I way down the rabbit mental. hole on that one. Oh, I am I am ashamed. But well done for you picking up on that. Oh, <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at mine. Now mine mine is, I mean, for those of you who have seen my YouTube channel before, you'll probably recognize this design simply because this is the standard storage system. So what standard. this is standard. This is normal for you. Yeah, this is like this regular. Is normal. This is this is a, a a regular storage system that I have in pretty much every single one of my bases. So what it does is it automatically sorts out the items. So say for example, uh, I want to have comparators. I've got comparators in my inventory. We place them. No, see, Green, you can't just put <laughs> items in there that aren't. <laughs> this is a limited size storage system. I thought well, it was magic. Well, What's it going to do with my items? It's maybe. Oh, it's going to bin them. If no, 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 they're just going to loop around for the next five minutes now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to. That That's all right. Magic. Okay, let's use on. items that are actually actually in the storage system. So, for example, comparators, you can see they'll, they'll go up like this and this they so will cool. make their way into into the hoppers. Have you never this seen one? This is so cool. Have you never I've seen never one seen of those item cool. elevators before? No, never. Oh, they are the best. Is so, it just full of glass and it's just being pushed to the top? Yeah, so you basically have a dropper facing upwards down at the bottom. I don't know if you can see this. We'll, we'll, do, some, we'll do some terraforming down at the bottom here. So all we have is we've got this little dropper right here that you can see. And that yeah. points straight upwards into the blocks. And then you have this redstone circuit, which looks weird and complicated. But all that's doing is it's essentially detecting when blocks are inside the dropper. And then it activates a redstone clock. So it automatically fires them out. And then it sends them up into the glass. And then the rest of it is just water. And then it drops in the the hopper. Or was it a dropper or a hopper? Oh, it drops yep. in the hopper that drops in the matches hopper. What, I, what item it is. That is genius. Um... Yeah, straight up you win. Not only did you have an idea to improve mine, yours is just blowing my mind. I really need to play more Minecraft survival. <laughs> yeah, it's a fun one to play with. This is good for you, you you won't get this technology on the Evo server for probably no, another three not. years, but it's 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 good for the time being. Do you know what in, in Evo at the moment the chests aren't even they don't even like open, they're still just a block. Oh a yeah, of block. course. Oh blimey, you really are block. back in the dark ages. <laughs> yeah. All right. right, let's head over here. The next one, what is it? You're two points up. You're No, you're one point up. You're two to one. Two to mm. one. Okay, right. Decoration. Decoration. Now, mine might not look like much from the outside, but if we take a look on the inside... Oh, my... What? What? So, yeah, it doesn't look like much on the outside, but what we've got here... Yeah, you've probably not seen these before. On the Green Network, we've got some clever armor stand plugin that lets you make models within the game using blocks. So what we've got here is a bunch of little models that really just enhance the decoration of a building. This is 
bonkers. I, I'm straight away, my eyes went straight up to these weird chandeliers. These crazy <laughs> chandeliers. Yeah, I didn't even know how to describe it. That's insane. And then we have also this... got plenty of the vanilla, vanilla ones as well. So we got cabinets, bookcases, uh, so, you know, side yeah. shelves or whatever. Uh, we got. This is a custom head on top of a, an end rod, and that makes a pretty cool lamp. Wow. That is... Whoever's rocking the skin that has this head on yeah, it... Yeah, I know, is, right? <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is amazing. That uh, looks incredible. If, I, if you come through here, this is one of my favorite build techniques ever, is if you mirror a room on the other side, you can make a mirror. Oh, wow. That looks amazing as well. Oh, there is no reflection, because we're vampires, of course. No, of course, of course. But that looks fantastic. Uh, as you can tell, it's identical. That's really smart. That's a, like a, a really, that's a really, really smart way of doing it. And that looks, oh, that is spot on. Oh, I want to also point out this. This is a very, very minor thing, but I absolutely love using uh, anvils and item frames to make them look like drawers, like proper yeah. drawers with handles on them and stuff. So this little chest of drawers here is, I don't know, it's, it's just a really neat little decoration tip using doors, trap doors, um, item frames and signs it's just something you perhaps wouldn't consider but it works no. really well I, I love the the open drawer as well that's such a nice touch just having that that drawer open there it really sells it as a as a thing as opposed to just a piece of decoration it's like oh that's a, that's a chest of drawers I've one thing right. that I've learned from from watching you is that if you can instantly recognize what it is then you've done a good job what is this it. Probably not, probably not great. Wow. This so this place... is just like a, a normal room, but there's a few cool little tips here. This is this is a good one. This is like a little uh, footrest, but it's obviously two halves of the same bit of bed. Yep. Oh wow. And they're just put back to back. Obviously, some of these things aren't vanilla, but in this day and age, we have the tools to help us decorate things. Of course. On servers in particular. So I did want to include some things that you perhaps wouldn't have seen before. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I mean, for sure. There's tons of stuff that, that I personally haven't seen. Like, for example, uh, I'd never seen this technique. I'd never really seen... To be honest, in, in terms of vanilla stuff, the the mirror, genius. That, that's absolutely ingenious. I can already tell you've won just because of that. And also <laughs> because of the cabinet as well. The, those sorts of things, it's just smart techniques for, for making things look cool that I personally There's would never one. think of. There's one last thing to really top it all off. If you come up here, you yeah. come here, right, and then look up. Wow. Oh, that looks amazing. It's like a planetarium in your yeah. house. Oh, my word. All right, I'm seriously interested. Let's see what you've done. Now, look, okay, I think um, it, it should go without saying, right? Okay. R redstone isn't a decorative thing. Okay, <laughs> well, you, you don't use redstone for decorating, so I really did have my work <laughs> cut out for me. I'm even a bit embarrassed to turn around. <laughs> <laughs> go show them. Show them what you've made. Because even I am like, yeah, this is a little... You just gave up at this point. <laughs> yeah, it was you, a bit you, of a... It was just like just a, a I don't know. I don't know what to do. I mean, so what I've got... If we, and the worst part is, is that I didn't even make an attempt to really compact the redstone. So we've got a massive redstone contraption in reality. Like, it's, it's not huge, but it's, it's big for what it does. <laughs> and it just cycles the blocks around. Do you reckon you could use this? Like, do you reckon if no. you had a house, you could have no, this somewhere? This is, no. I, no. 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 Yeah. I wouldn't no. wipe my sheets with this. <laughs> <laughs> Friendly competition, Green. You're Friendly competition. <laughs> this is yes, very, very good, very fun. I definitely win the point. I'm sorry. How no. about this? How about if I if I do this? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it definitely sells it. <laughs> if, if it comes with a dancing mumbo, it's probably worth it. Okay, brilliant. All right. Well, we'll still say that you win the point despite my best efforts. Yeah, and let's we're move leave on that behind. Like we didn't see that. It's the final one. This is the final one out of our five to oh, look man. at. I'm and terrified. It's an odd category. Now, I when we came up with these categories, we wanted to cover everything that Minecraft has or problems that you have to overcome. And lighting is a big one. It's one that you might not think of, but yeah. lighting is quite a big category. Yeah. So should we look at mine? So what I've got for you is a medieval hall. This now, looks really impressive. Like this is I'd like. I, I would like to have dinner here. <laughs> that's that's all I'm thinking. Is that oh, I would like to be you. sat at the head of this table with all these lovely lights in front of me and with these crazy chandeliers. I mean, these are these are detailed. There's lots of stuff going on here. 
So, well, with lighting, the main problem to tackle is a large room. So specifically, I made a huge hall that would be dark in the middle and on the walls or whatever. And I've used every technique I know to try and light it up. What's beautiful about this is there's lights that you didn't know were there and it helps light up the whole thing. So the chandeliers are meant to be there. Even these little candles down here are meant to be there. They're yeah. like, you know, table lights. Yeah. The fireplace is also one that you might recognize, but it's another light source that people forget about is of you can course. have a roaring fire. However, under the carpets, there is glowstone. Oh, of course. Yeah. Oh, that's to hide genius. It in. Behind the pillars from away from the visible part is sea lanterns and that actually helps light it up. And the other thing that people do forget about is just windows, plenty of natural light. It does help. Of course, of course. Yeah, loads of light coming in. This is a really cool room. As I say, I would love to eat my dinner here. This would be this would be a good spot. <laughs> you might notice uh, actually that I didn't light up this wall because I actually got kind of bored making this and then yep. I made a face on the other side. I did see that. I was wondering if that was a conscious decision to it make. It was. It was. Absolutely was. I was like, oh, I'm not going to make normal windows here. This this chimney looks like a nose and a mouth. I'm definitely just going to make some eyes here. <laughs> that is horrifying. That that looks like. Imagine if you woke up and that was at the end of your bed, just by your feet. <laughs> so I can sit at the head of the table and people can look at me in fear. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Well, that's the. Well, this is cool. This is really cool. I've really got my work cut out for me on this one. This is going to be a, a, a difficult one to top, I have to say. Originally, what I did is I created a system that I call chandelier lighting. So what it does is it will drop... Uh, I'll give you a quick example. So it will drop a piece of glowstone or something like that down like this. You'll have a sticky piston here, and then you'll have glowstone on the front of it. And that will extend downwards, almost like it's a, a chandelier. I mean, okay. obviously, in a redstone sense. So it will drop down like that, and then you yeah. can flick a lever, and it will retract it back up inside the room. And it, it looks really cool, and it's quite cool to have in, like, a, I guess, a hallway. You can walk in, and it will drop down all the lights, and oh, it looks it, cool. Yeah. So That's what sweet. it will do is it will actually it will retract this completely away, and then it will be hidden away like that. So you wouldn't know the lights are there, and then they suddenly pop out. It, it, it is a cool one. But, I mean, I've done that a couple times in the past, and I've built it on the Hermitcraft server a bunch of times, whereas I haven't built something like this, so what it does... Yeah, it looks hideous, by the way. Absolutely it looks hideous. hideous. <laughs> it's meant to be like a horrible, like, almost as if you're uh, an evil, it, evil person. You have this at the top of your build. <laughs> it looks like a hive from hell. I'm not yeah, going to lie. Yeah, that's kind of what I was going for. So you can activate it. You get all of the, the fires turning on around the outside. You also get the lava dropping down. So it's like a horrendous, horrible light. And then when you want to turn it off, you just flick the sever. And all of the pistons will extend. It will turn off all the lamps. And also, all of the lava gets removed as well. It causes uh, massive lag spikes as well. It's pretty cool. It is really cool. It's just absolutely bizarre design. <laughs> yeah, absolutely well, bizarre. you know, the thing is, I built it out of iron and and all the wool stuff that you've seen earlier on. And I was like, eh, it doesn't really sell the evil look. I was trying to go for an evil look with the lighting. You don't have you don't have a giant fire chandelier in like a lovely <laughs> nice house. You have it true. in a horrible, true, horrible very true. place. So I had to go all nethery and 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 ugly. That that was my idea. Intentionally ugly. Yeah, it kind of looks <laughs> I like, like it. it looks like an apple from hell. That's yes. Yeah, for sure. And I would, you could definitely use something like this, maybe with a slightly better shell around it in, yeah. in the nether. If you had a gigantic nether build, you could create something like this and yeah. have it light up. Maybe, potentially, maybe. But I think I think for you, <laughs> I think just, just looking at the pair of them, I think you're you're the winner on this one. I, I don't think there's there's any doubt in my mind who wins this one. Oh, so that's three points to me. Yes, unfortunately, I've just oh. conceded a loss because my apple from hell just Friendly doesn't quite compete with your. <laughs> it's not over yet, though. No, you, what you have to not. remember is that it's not over yet because we still have another five left to go that is going to be going on your YouTube channel. So we still don't and know who's won. You well. may have won this one, Grian, but. 
in your video, I could get five and you could get zero and you could I still be it. the loser. I so, doubt it. Friendly competition. <laughs> friendly competition. Remember, friendly competition. <laughs> um, so I would highly suggest checking that one out. There'll be a link to that one down in the description if you do want to take a look. Uh, I really do hope that you enjoyed all of these redstone and also general builds as well. It's been a lot of fun. So thank you ever so much for joining me and also thank you for producing these wonderful, wonderful things that you've made for this video. No worries.